Welcome to Credit Shift News and Update. I'm Paul Sweeney, co-founder and chief strategy officer here at Webio, and today we will be exploring some of the recent news, stories, events, reports, and trends in the credit industry. Okay, let's dive into some of the details. In general industry news, let's start with the good news on UK inflation. It fell more than 2% between September and October. From 12 months to October, inflation hit 4.6%, down from 6.7% figure seen in September. Might we be seeing an end to the Bank of England's interest rate rises mid-2024? One interesting point here is that overall price levels in the UK are still more than 16% higher than the same month, October 2021. So a lot of price inflation in the UK economy. UK Finance has a recent report for the third quarter of 2023, revealing a concerning trend in the mortgage sector. Residential mortgages appear to have seen an 18% increase and buy-to-let mortgage arrears have risen by 29%. Specifically, there were 87,930 homeowner mortgages in arrears in the third quarter, marking a 7% increase from the previous quarter. A new snippet from Ireland caught my attention this week. Irish economist Dan O'Brien on Twitter was commenting that Irish household debt continued its long fall in 2022. Annual disposable income is now well above all outstanding debt. In the 2007 to 11 period, by contrast, household debt was more than twice disposable income. Of course, this also could be read that Irish people weren't feeling confident about the future, so have decided to continue saving. In our next section, we look at buy now, pay later, fintech and related trends. The famed US VC firm A16Z are behind an interesting new entrant into the exciting world of tax. What is interesting to me about this is that from the get-go, it is an AI-first tax autopilot. It is aimed at accounting and tax consulting firms. They claim that the solution will accelerate the federal and state tax compliance for individual tax forms, allowing certified public accountants to process significantly more returns with guaranteed speed and accuracy. This is a great example of how a company can leverage its reputation for professional services to do more faster with the same resources. My guess is that everyone will be a winner here. At the opposite end of the scale in terms of being on target, Irish banks this week declared that they are ending a venture that was supposed to put them back into the instant payments game against the likes of Revolut, which, by the way, now has 2.5 million users in Ireland. Industry sources say that regulations around instant payments at the European level largely made the initiative redundant anyway. Companies such as Revolut and Wise have really just taken over in this particular P2P payments space. And this leads me back to the idea of instant financial services. With instant payment comes the requirement for instant know your customer, instant credit analysis, instant services of all types. Digital services, including digital customer self-service for financial services, might require new technical architectures and new operational processes. But even with all this move to instant services, actual customer satisfaction with these experiences have left some customers feeling underwhelmed frustrated and often abandoned. And this brings us to our third section today, reports on customer experience. KPMG's Customer Experience Excellence Report 2023-24 highlights a decline in customer experience in the UK, falling by 3.8% to pre-COVID-19 levels. This decline is seen across all six dimensions of customer experience, with empathy experiencing the most significant drop of 6.4%. Energy suppliers in particular have seen their average net promoter scores plummet. The report suggests that this decline is due to extensive cost-cutting measures and the failure of outdated technology implementations. However, emerging customer experience leaders are countering this trend by integrating AI-driven solutions, termed AI colleagues, into customer-facing roles. These AI tools are enhancing customer service effectively and efficiently. 
First Direct is highlighted as the leading company in this area, particularly for its Dot the Bot initiative under its autonomous banking program. This program itself is structured into five stages. One, basic reminders and prompts, notifying customers about upcoming payments or actions. Two, intelligent balance checking, advising on payments based on available account balances. Three, expenditure monitoring and automated payments, so making managing bills, automating payments, and dealing with customer escalation when necessary easier. Four, full self-driving under certain conditions, such as making budgeting decisions and transferring funds between accounts. And then the fifth layer being full self-driving in all conditions, completely managing customer finance based on behavioral and attitudinal profiling. Now, these insights indicate a shift in customer experience strategy, emphasizing the role of AI in enhancing all aspects of customer interactions. And key takeaways from the KPMG report and another Forrester report emphasize the strategic implementation of AI as enhancing customer experience. And the areas they identify are higher customer experience scores with AI assistance. So companies that are implementing AI assistance strategies are currently recording higher customer experience scores. And this suggests that AI integration is not just a technology upgrade, but a strategic tool for improving overall customer satisfaction. The second thing they're saying is using AI across the customer journey. AI has diverse applications across the entire customer journey from initial contact to post-purchase support. This broad applicability shows that AI can be a versatile tool in enhancing various aspects of customer interaction. The report goes into specific examples of how this is achieved across multiple sectors. So I'll point you back to the report to just go into some depth there and use the opportunity to generate some ideas. And the third layer really that they approached here was aligning AI with value streams and networks. So there's potential to reshape an entire business model by aligning AI with value streams and networks. And this approach can lead to more efficient operations and enhanced value delivery to customers. I would recommend reviewing the report and seeing how it can provide some frameworks for your own strategic review processes. We have broached this before about how that partnership structure with various fintech players might be a strong source of competitive advantage in the future. And particularly now going into the Forrester report, which was on why chatbots fail, what they really drew their attention to was the importance of good conversational design. So the word they use is meticulous conversation design crafting interactions that are intuitive and natural. And we keep on seeing this year in, year out, that um, people just don't appreciate the full value of design combined with technology. You need the both to make that work. The second point the report makes is the importance of intelligent routing using intents. So utilizing intents to intelligently route queries or tasks to specifically improve the efficiency of the chatbot or to improve the rate of utilization of agents or having the best conversations with the best agents at any time. And we saw that in one of our earlier podcasts as well uh, with Andrew Moorhouse, the importance of rooting on intents. The third point they were making is embracing next generation conversational AI. There, there really has been a transformation over the last 18 months, and particularly the last 12 months, with the release of ChatGPT, really popularizing the use of transformer models. We have to bring that into the technology strategy or else you're just not gonna solve this problem. And again, the continuous evaluation and improvement that is required in this area. So it's essential to regularly assess the performance of the models, examine which actions and flows are successful, and examine how the model's effectiveness evolves over time. So that's a pretty good report from Forrester, well worth your time. People who are listening to the podcast should be well up on it, but always good to have these points validated from an analyst. So I'd recommend you review those reports for deeper insights, consider how AI combined with effective design could be integrated into your customer experience strategy to 
deliver more effective conversations. That's it for this week. Join us next week where hopefully we'll have more news from the weird and wonderful world of credit and collections, maybe some more interesting news from the world of fintech, and even more news from the ever-changing and wonderful world of AI. Thanks for joining us, and hopefully you'll check us out at webio.com and maybe vote for us on various things that we are competing for. Thank you very much.